Hi guys, Ming Tian here from Ming. Today, we'd like to introduce something a little bit different. It's not a watch. In fact, it's probably one of the first, if not the only time this has ever been done. Um, it's a strap or a bracelet. We're actually not terribly sure which. Let me explain. What we have here in the polymesh is a single piece of 3D printed titanium that's laser sintered on a powder bed machine. It's made of pure grade two titanium from very, very small particles that basically gets fused when a laser hits it. Unlike conventional mesh, where each individual link is made separately and then joined together, all of our links are basically sintered together as one piece. So every link is printed without any post assembly. Now, this is kind of interesting because not only is this mesh one piece, it has no separate parts. It's extremely flexible, as you can see. It basically moves like fabric. In fact, it's more flexible than a traditional bracelet or traditional leather strap, yet at the same time has the rigidity and tensile strength of both. In addition to that, the bracelet actually has the end links built in, the end reinforcement built in, and then on the buckle end, the entire flexible buckle which is also using our tuck system, and the pin, and the hinge, is also 3D printed as one piece. This is not a separate piece that's attached later. This is integral to the bracelet itself. As you can see, it makes a pretty unusual look and feel for this. It almost looks like a woven fabric. It definitely feels like metal. It flows like a very, very heavy kind of chain mill. You can see the distortions just underneath my fingertips. And of course, it wears completely unlike anything else available today. When we develop something like this, people generally think that the idea comes out mostly fully formed. But because this is using a technology that's not familiar to us, we tried to develop it with the thing that was most closely adjacent, which in this case was filament 3D printing. So actually, we've been through a huge number of variations to try and make this work. As you can see, some did not. But the reality is that after going through more than seven different topologies to figure out something that would both 3D print and something that would feel right and have the right kinetic properties, we finally settled on the answer. And I'll tell you something, the translation between a five to one model and even a three to one model is completely different to when you go to actual size. On this bracelet, there are elements which have clearances of less than 70 microns. You're probably wondering why we did this. And generally, when we do things, it's the same question. We always ask, what if? Now, what if we had a metal bracelet that really had the comfort of a leather strap, the flexibility and the pliance, and also the elasticity, but without the transients? You know, we all have this feeling where we have your favorite leather strap. The thing eventually wears out. It goes out of production. You can't get another one. You can't keep multiples of the same, because if you do, eventually they all dry up and crack, and you know, you're back to square one. But with a metal bracelet, you lack that sort of adjustability. Even in the best micro-adjust systems, you still have to actively do something. It doesn't comply and conform to the wrist in the same way that, that fabric or leather can. So we wanted the best of both worlds, and we tried to seek that out. So there you have it, guys, the Ming Polymesh bracelet. It's a world first. We're pretty sure that nobody else has done this. But to experience it, to understand it, it's best to see it in person. Thanks for watching, guys.